Mothers, even the poorest of mothers, when they are empowered to have a voice, they can be mama bears, not only for their children, but for children in their communities. We've had um, moms who have taken out dharnas to like stop alcohol and gambling dens in their village. We've had moms uh, harass district authorities to get a well in the village. We've had moms do kitchen gardens in the Angadwadis outside their homes so that their children can get proper nutrition. And we've had moms who've opened up their minds and their hearts. These amazing moms from across the city with us. Now, all of you get the opportunity to make a difference as well. Along with Dia, if you guys, for every post and story that you tag on social media and tag my baby Chakra, uh, the moms go and cry, a hundred rupees will be donated on your name to cry. And the person who posts the fastest, not the Loxitan, not the bingo, this is another one. There's another one coming up. The person who posts the fastest, okay, okay. <laughs> well, the person who posts the fastest gets an opportunity to come on stage and with Dia, hand out the check to cry. So, let's take 30 seconds. I'm going to urge the panel, take your phones out. Aarti, you have my phone. Post stories, tag. Okay, I'm going to read out the tags again. My baby chakra, the moms go cry India. Do stories, you all have been taking so many amazing pictures. Start tagging the people with the maximum stories. Barkha is going to announce the winners for this one. My baby chakra, the moms go and cry India. Mona, please stay right on tune about the L'Occitan passes. They are all... <laughs> Mona? <laughs> so, okay, has everyone watched the Baby Chakra team after this? Okay, guys, don't ask me who the winners are. <laughs> Um, okay, let's begin with introductions. Dia, Dia really doesn't need an introduction, but we're still going to introduce her. Uh, she's a new mom, and she is an actor, she is an entrepreneur, she's an environmentalist, and all in all, an amazing human being who does fantastic things for the planet. And, um, you know, it's an absolute honor to have you here today, Dia. This entire community is really here to hear you speak today and to and they're all hoping that they get to interact with you and ask you all kinds of questions, and that time will come too. Um, moving on from Dia, uh, Nisha isn't... Okay, so we will introduce Nisha when she comes. Um, Naya. If you don't know Naya, y'all are definitely not winning the L'Occitane or the other thing, okay? So, uh, Naya is the mom star numero uno. Uh, she is the founder of Baby Chakra, and she's got some fabulous things she's done. She's the co-founder of the Good Glam Group, South Asia's largest content to commerce conglomerate, and founder of Baby Chakra, India's most trusted parenting platform. Uh, moving on to Tejal Bajla. I always have to be nice to Tejal, guys. She's the owner of the school that my kids go to, so like, more than anything else, we have to be super... <laughs> We have to be super nice to Tejal, okay? But uh, Tejal, I mean, again, I'm sure she's someone known to all of you here. The Mommy Network is something that each one of us knows and loves thoroughly, and she's a co-founder at Mommy Network. Uh, she also owns Brain Smith, and, which is a fabulous wooden toy brand. Uh, what else, uh, Tejal? I know the list is endless, but let's go on. All things baby, oh my God. So all my international 
products that I needed for my kids both times, and especially the second time when we were in a pandemic, somehow All Things Baby still managed to get it to me, which is fabulous. Tejal, you are an absolute mom star. You know it. My child has to do like super amazing in this school. I have to keep saying nice things about Tejal. Uh, okay, we're going to move on. So coming to Tanushri Pandey. Tanushree is an expert doctor at Baby Chakra. She is an MS OBGY with fellowship in reproductive medicine from Germany. She specializes in reproductive medicine and runs her clinic called Hope. So that is our, oh, I'm so sorry. I missed out the very, very important, yeah. A very, very important member of this panel, Barkha. Uh, she is my co-host today. That's Barkha Chavla. Barkha is a mom to a three-year-old baby and has flown in all the way from Bangalore to be here today. <laughs> she is the community head parent pod at uh, Baby Chakra. She is working towards building a community of moms that inspire and look up to each other. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you so much, Simone. I mean, now I'm going to try to introduce you. I know that I don't need to, but okay. So I'm going to take a shot at it. Simone obviously is my wonderful co-host. And Simone has grown up in Dubai. Then she moved to New York to study at Parsons. That's where she took up her love for fashion. She moved to India. And now Simone is like a luxury parenting and lifestyle creator. Thank you so much. Fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, Marga. That was awesome. Yes, I love you, T. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start the sharing circle now. Uh, so before we start the sharing circle, I would like to take a few minutes to talk about what exactly is mom's talk. So as moms, we try to find our community because every mom's journey is very unique to them. So even if you like have a friend who was pregnant and now has delivered, her journey will be very different than your journey. And that's why as moms, we need like a village, like they say, right? And that's what, this is the very first edition of Moms Talk that we are hosting. And uh, we really need to come together as moms to help each other and inspire each other. And this is a no hold ups uh, meetup and we can talk about our experiences. So I'm going to quickly jump into our very first question. Uh, so I want to ask this to uh, Tanushri. What brings you here today, and what are you hoping to achieve through the sharing circle by Baby Chakra? Uh, what brings me here is my amazing association with uh, Baby Chakra, Naya, and Barkha, and everyone here, because uh, I want to share a little story right at the beginning. Might not be very all happy, happy, but that is how reality is. So I had just started practice in Mumbai, and um, I, I think I'd done a, one or two events with Baby Chakra, and I had a live session to do in October. And on 26th of September last year, I lost my mother, all of a sudden, to a massive heart attack. And uh, I called them up, and I said, I cannot. I cannot face the audience. I cannot do it. And they said, no, you know, we are your family now, and we're not going to let you go. So on 4th of October, which was barely like 10 days from when I'd lost everything, I guess, I came online and I said that I don't know what am I going to be saying, but it's all about mother and child, and uh, I'll try to find my, uh, I don't know, belonging through you guys. And today when I see so many mothers here and so much of positivity, so I think that's what makes me uh, come here. Thanks. <laughs> that's such a... And, and can I just add to that? So, you know, uh, our DIP, doctor inter 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 integration, interaction, whatever, right? Uh, I need coffee, guys. Uh, bring in a sleepy owl. Yeah. <laughs> so the team is here, Nena and Ayushi. And, uh, you know, I think that, that snapshot, you know, Dr. Pandey, uh, really, I think all of us actually kind of teared up because, it, you know, when, when she sort of put it very beautifully in her message to all the audience, saying that, you know, I'm not doing any other live chats, but I'm doing the one for Baby Chakra because this is my way of paying homage to my mother. Um, and I am in service of mums and kids like Baby Chakra is. And I still remember I had goosebumps on my hand watching that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and that's why we really wanted her here today as well. So, yeah. Mm. Um, can we pass on the mic to Dia? And Dia, would you talk about uh, what brings you here today and what are you trying to achieve through this uh, sharing circle with Baby Chakra? Well, it's a new phase in my life. It's one that has been um, the most incredible 
uh, experience. I, I've always wanted to be a mother. And now that I am a mother, I can't, um, I can't even begin to express how gratifying, how humbling, how exciting, how wonderful, how terrifying <laughs> it's been. And uh, I think like everyone else, I want to be able to share that space and uh, just get to know other mothers better and understand from all of you how you're dealing with it <laughs> and uh, how you enjoy it. But more than anything else, I'm just here to be a part of what is really necessary, um, which is a sense of community and sisterhood. And it's so, it's so wonderful that Baby Chakra and Mom School are doing this in partnership. And uh, I hope Mom Talk, Mom's Talk continues you know, and, and more and more mothers come together to share. Because I don't think, I have to just share with all of you that I had my child uh, extremely prematurely. He was born in his sixth month. And um, it was only mothers who reached out to me with their stories of overcoming their challenges and talking about how they had had a premature birth and how, you know, their children were doing that gave me such a strong sense of hope and optimism and gave me a lot of courage at a time that I don't think I would have been able to feel the kind of courage I did if it wasn't for those stories from those mothers. So sharing really helps and connecting really helps. And I'm so glad we're doing this. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us, Dia. It's really, it's the whole essence of mom's talk. Uh, they just do like to I can get into the story. Yeah, the story oh, is happening. <laughs> so, um, you know, multiple reasons, but uh, one of the most powerful things um, is like, you know, Dia mentioned, is that when, when mums come together and um, when they share, powerful things happen, right? Across my journey of seven years of, you know, meeting so many mothers through business, through work, through personal relationships, um, each time I have shared vulnerably and authentically, I have always derived something. You know, that one line, that one sentence, um, that one thought that you would take back, and it would change the way you would see things or you would relate to or resonate with. Uh, and today I'm here, you know, apart from the fact, and I will go on speaking about Naya very shortly, mm -hmm. uh, but apart from the fact that I truly believe in everything that Naya does, and she's a wonderful friend, I'm here to really do my bit to share authentically and to hear you all share, because if we can take back that one thing, um, I think it's a job well done. And I think we should create more of these, um, you know, judgment-free advice sharing platforms uh, where we can really come out openly. And the second reason that I'm here is obviously because of Naya. She's a very, very dear friend, a fellow entrepreneur, uh, somebody I have reached out to early in my career for advice. You know, she wasn't a mother then, so she reaches out for motherly advice to me. Uh, but somebody I have reached out to so often, every time I would have a roadblock at work. And she has shared so selflessly, right? Uh, told me what is the right thing to do, what not. And I'm here for her today to cheer everything that she does. And I'm so happy to be here. By the way, I owe Tejal my current nanny, okay, so. <laughs> okay, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so we know how. <laughs> so everyone, Tejal. <laughs> nanny Tejal. <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay, before we move to the next question, one of you, come on, tell me, what does Baby Chakra mean to you? What does community mean to you? What is all this amazing stuff that Baby Chakra does, which is getting moms together and creating this really, really strong community? What does that mean to you? Go. Hi, my name is Bhakti Gotrani, and I'm an influencer. So uh, when I uh, when I had my like this is my first uh, he's my first child and when I was pregnant I had zero idea about uh, pregnancy and everything so um, somehow Baby Chakra was the only app uh, through which I used to get notifications about my uh, you know my fetus and everything so that's how I connected with Baby Chakra and ever since then uh, I am using the app for multiple things and I think 
everyone would relate to this that at any point of time you drop your question on baby chaka there's at least some mother who is going to share her experience you know so i think that's uh, something which we all really rely uh, you know on to so that's why i think baby chakra has been like a part ever since my child has been a part of my life amazing anyone else okay i'm going to speak so to me um i wanted to know everything my child has 103.5 fever what should i do cold patti medium patti lukewarm patti this patti so many questions don't know what to do there is no one that i believe more than a mother i believe mothers more than i even believe doctors i'm sorry <laughs> but i do because moms have gone through it tried and tested and that's where baby chakra came into my life before i even knew what like uh, blogging was i knew what baby chakra was and um, you know i feel like it, even now every time there's a situation hand foot mouth straight you know you got to learn from experience it's the only way to learn and to move forward and um so you know you guys honestly i mean i know i'm sitting here and there's all this uh, branding behind me but i mean it from the bottom of my heart that honestly to create a sp safe space for moms uh, to ask questions and you should see if you all can actually track it you all should go and see the kind of questions i've asked and the past it's some of them are really ridiculous but the questions and you know there most of those happen like in the middle of the night when you're like panicking and all of that so it's a fabulous fabulous space and thank you for creating that space for us and um you know it's only with the support of all mums that platforms like this can keep growing right because it it at the end of the day it is for us um okay so let me ask the audience before i ask dia dia you're getting 1 minute to think of your answer <laughs> what was shreya come on you tell me what was your toughest moment as a mom hi everyone i'm shreya and uh, i'm a digital creator and i think i've been very vocal about the toughest moment for me was when i delivered my second one at 33 weeks uh she spent thankfully her weight was 2 kgs which was a very good thing and helped in her uh, development she spent two weeks in an icu and um, we got her home uh, at uh, like two weeks old and uh, after two days because she didn't have the sucking reflex i had to pump and feed her with a syringe so pump syringe between that i had to manage my sleep as well and one of the nights uh, in fact early mornings 4 am uh, i was pumping i'd fed her burped her i was pumping and she was right in front of me and she threw up and she choked on her own vomit and she turned blue and stopped breathing and uh, we had to run to the hospital at that time again and they had to uh, you know in uh, take everything out and that sight of you know just standing there and having the doctors put tubes down your two week old baby's premature baby's throat and getting everything out was horrible i think that was the toughest moment that i went through in my motherhood goosebumps all over me right now oh my god i mean now when i look back of course talking about it you know now she's grown up to be an absolute fiery feisty little You've thing <laughs> so yeah that's so amazing so yeah that's that's all thank you for sharing dia what was your toughest moment as what has been your toughest moment as a mom who uh, this is a really tough question to answer because there've been quite a few um the first of course uh assumably was the decision to bring my baby out um so i i had to go through um a surgery for my appendix uh, while i was in my fifth month and there must have been some kind of medical uh, residue some kind of leftover something that caused an infection in my body and even though i had spent a good 21 days in hospital on iv antibiotics and everything else and praying every day through that time that none of this would affect my baby because i was going through what is called rigors where your body physically shakes so badly that four people had to hold me down and my fever would rise to 104 degrees and then it would take 45 minutes of those rigors and until the fever came down the rigors would not stop 
And it was 21 days of that in hospital. So every day I was praying that nothing untoward would happen to the baby. And finally, when I got discharged and went home, on the second day, I started spotting. And I had to go back to the doctor. And he said, you know, your placenta is hemorrhaging. We have to get the baby out. And this was now in my sixth month. Um, so the toughest thing for me really was to see my 820 gram baby coming into this world at a time where the pandemic had hit and I wasn't even allowed to hold my child for the first two and a half months of his life. What made things even more difficult was that he he was diagnosed with a perforation in his intestine. So there was a tear in his intestine. And we had to go through life-saving surgery 36 hours after he was born. Imagine an 820 gram baby going through surgery. And it was really at this time that I read and I heard and I watched mothers who had had preterm babies and the challenges that they had faced that gave me so much strength. Um, and then, of course, Avyan was in NICU for two and a half, almost three months. It was only when he was two and a half kilos that they allowed us to take him home. And he was home with us for just 21 days uh, before his next surgery. And his second surgery was to, so basically they took the intestine out. So they put something called a stoma. They create a stoma. And I didn't allow any nurse to touch him. I used to dress him myself. And when he went back for surgery, the doctor said uh, he would be in hospital for a minimum of 21 days because that's how long it will take for the intestine to heal, for him to start passing motions. Oh my God, I was so potty obsessed. I still am. Uh, worms no, right? That obsession. Yeah, but in my case, even more so. On day nine, this child was ready to come home. So for me, while we had all kinds of tough moments, I think just watching this child's fortitude and his, I believed only one thing through this time, that he had chosen me because I had prayed very hard for him and he was not going to leave me. I believed that with all my heart. But you can all imagine how terrifying most of those moments may have been. Um, and it's just so empowering as a parent to gain that strength from an infant child because uh, it's, it's incredible the kind of life force they come with and exhibit, even though they're so physically tender and small and fragile. He's a badmash now. <laughs> He's started walking. He speaks over 50 words. He's full of life and energy and fun and gratitude. So anything you hand Avyan Azad Reki, he'll say, thank you. <laughs> that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually so envious. I wanted to ask you. I've never done this before, right? I've, I haven't taken Avyan for any event. And I'm like, this is amazing. I, <laughs> I, next time I'll bring my baby <laughs> and I want to know, I want to see whether he'll actually sit this peacefully because he doesn't sit for a second. Boy child versus girl child. It is the it's, truth. No, but it's not a gender thing, Simone. I'm telling I you. I have a friend who has a girl who is just as hyperactive uh, as my boy. You know, luckily. Yeah, I know you're a mother of boys, which is why you're saying this. And, and a girl. girl. Oh, My girls girl, are peaceful. Girls are like, it's like a girl play date. It's like a play date. A boy play date is like a typhoon. A hit the, <laughs> oh my God. They're out of control. Out of control. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I know lots of mothers who say that my <laughs> daughter is just as hyperactive as your son. Oh so man. <laughs> they are full of energy and that's how they should be. Uh, we have to learn patience, tolerance, gentle parenting, <laughs> and all of that in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would anyone else over here want to share their toughest moment as a mom? So, so sorry, just, I just want to, like, uh, so many of you understand that this is clearly a sharing circle, right? This is not a panel, it's not an event, it's not a, 
you know, one of the fans. It's actually a sharing circle. So yeah, so who's sharing? Hi, uh, my name is Imani, and I'm a content creator on Instagram by name Mama Learns. So the toughest moment for me was when my second one was born. Uh, so for the first few four days, everything was fine. We were in the hospital. But once we were back at home, after five days, doctor gave a heads up. Everything was good to go. And once we reached home, in, at something around 12 o'clock in the midnight, I just checked. He was yellow, pale yellow, completely yellow. Like I've never seen someone be so yellow. And I asked my mom, she was with me, what is happening? So she's like, maybe there's some minor jaundice. Was that? Even my first one had jaundice, but that was just uh, some minute, just, you know, the doctor gives a heads up and then you go home, okay, done. But this one, okay, like we waited for two days still because I was not aware what is happening. And then after two days, his eyes was yellow, his tongue was yellow. And his blood, if you see the blood, that was also yellow. There was no red blood. So I was like, what is happening to him? And then we rushed uh, and we called the doctor. The doctor said that uh, it's an emergency and you have to put him into an, an ICU and we just have to wait for the night. And the count for that uh, jaundice was 30 points, which is the highest. And the doctor is like, if, you, if the count doesn't drop within this night, uh, we'll have to do blood transfusion, which is going to happen. Uh, in the morning. So blood transfusion is in which the blood, the whole blood, you have to remove the blood from the baby and then you have to put the new blood. And uh, I was like, uh, I'm feeding my baby. I was like, I'm sorry, you cannot touch the baby. You're not allowed to do anything. 